In this clip, I'll be explaining to you uh, a bit about the book Kashf al Dunun an Asami al Kutubi wal Funun. This book is written by a famous scholar of Islam. Uh, he's known as Haji Khalifa. Khalifa. His real name was Mustafa ibn Abdullah. He was called Haji Khalifa because he went on Hajj once on an Islamic pilgrimage. And when he came back, people called him Haji and uh, Khalifa because he was uh, an assistant or he was in charge of the treasury. Now, this book, Kashf al Dunun, it translates as clearing suspicions or doubts and regarding or about Asami, the names of books and arts or sciences. Basically, what he's done in this book is he's compiled the name or he's made an index, a catalogue of the name of over one th uh, over 15,000 books, uh, 950 authors and 300 arts and sciences. Amazing, huh? Now, he died in the year 1067. So basically in uh, calendar or timeline form, it works out roughly about there. So he died about there, meaning that he lived around this area. And if we're over here, let's say today, okay, me, you, everyone is over here. So he died roughly 300 to 400 years uh, before, before us. This is where he died. And if you want to know more about the timeline, uh, then you can look at the other clips that I've made regarding the timeline. I think I, uh, I, I think I should mention is 1067 is after the migration or after Hijrah, after the migration of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam here. Uh, this because this is the Islamic calendar. Anyway, back to the book. So Kashf al Dunun and Asami al Kutub Funun. He says that he compiled the book uh, over. 40 or oh sorry over 20 years so over 20 years it took him to compile the book and he went through many libraries many volumes of books and traveling from place to place in search of certain names and he's done a very amazing job the book basically uh, if, I, if I can sum it up for you is uh, has an introduction a 30 page introduction <coughs> it's in two volumes the introduction is 30 pages and then the rest of it is in index form <coughs> alphabetical order sorry uh, alif to ya so from alif to ra is in the first volume covers from alif to, to ra books with the name of alif ba ta etc up to ra and in the second volume is covered books from za up to ya now in the introduction let me just talk a bit about the introduction in there he mentions several things so first of all number one he mentions five first of all five chapters in the introduction uh, number one he mentions definition of knowledge um, secondly he mentions the origins of knowledge and books where did books come from where's knowledge etc uh, number three he mentions about authors and their writings etc so various authors various different types of writing styles around the world number four is mentioned miscellaneous topics so um, miscellaneous topics about knowledge and number five it's a uh, it's a completion of that uh, of the miscellaneous topics and uh, he just talked a bit about the Arabic language so these are five topics he's covered and he's covered them very well those who want to look further into it then they can do that so let's uh, have a look at the book itself so let's say we want to find a book uh, now what he's done is he's listed the books and with every name of every book he's mentioned author's name and a bit a uh, small introduction regarding the book itself. So let's look for a book uh, Dal. Now here 
before we go into the book let me just zoom out there okay on the right hand side over here we have khawas al-quran in arabic written khawas al-quran that's basically what he means by that is the first book on this page on the right hand side he is mentioned khawas al-quran the writer the author etc then on the left hand side da'i al-falah ila sabil or subul al-najah which is the book which is on the at the end of the page the right at the bottom of the page the last book is mentioned on this page so from khawas al-quran all the way up to da'i al-falah ila subul al-najah in all books now in the middle you can see kashf al-zunun which is it looks like english doesn't it no well it's actually turkish because the editor was a turkish person and he's is written in Turkish. Okay, so let's look at the Babu Dal Muhammala. Okay, the chapter of Dal Muhammala basically means a letter which does not have a dot on the in Arabic language. So in the Arabic language letters, some of them have dots like ba and some of them don't. And dal is one of them. So al Muhammala means that. Okay, we have the book here. The first book is mentioned is Adda wa Dawa. The the the, the sickness the sickness or the uh, the disease and the dawa the cure the disease and the cure it's a book written by so this is what he does he mentions the title of the scholar who wrote the book Ash shamsuddin abi abdullah which is the kunya you know the arabs have like the father of so and so the mother of so and so it's called the kunya then he mentions the scholar's name himself so the scholar's name is muhammad ibn abi bakr muhammad ibn abi bakr was also known as Al Ma'roof bi Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah. Hmm. Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah is the student of the famous Imam Ibn Taymiyyah. Rahimahullah. So he's written a small a book regarding uh, diseases and cures, and it's all about using Surah Al Fatiha as a cure, like the Prophet Muhammad sallam, has mentioned in Hadith. Anyway, so that's a bit about that. Now let's go to another example. Sometimes uh, what you have to remember in this book is uh, i mean so, uh, some uh, so, some of the problems i had initially with this book was the names some of the names we're used to they don't come in that particular order so let's say for example sahih al-bukhari so you wouldn't go to sahih al-bukhari to find this book because the name sahih al-bukhari is a common name that we have today the name according to the scholars is actually a much longer name so here we go to G you'll find it actually under G because the name of the book is Al Jami or Sahih so let's just scroll down a bit there scroll a bit more okay these are all books many okay here it is so page 311 the first volume so you can see Al Jami or Sahih okay which is actually a short name the full name is you ready for it Al Jami al Musnad al Sahih al Mukhtasar min Umuri Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sunanihi wa ayyamihi. Long isn't it? Well, I mean, we're used to Sahih al Bukhari. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, Al Jami al Sahih. So, what he's done, what he does, he mentions the name of the book, he mentions the scholar's name, he mentions a bit about the book itself, he also mentions um, commentaries on the book, many commentaries that have been written on the book and many footnotes that have been written in the book many other works that have been done later on after Imam Bukhari because remember Imam Bukhari he came in uh, the thir fourth century this the sorry, third century Islamic third century which was way before uh, the time of Imam al Haji Khalifa uh, in simple terms okay what I can say is Imam Bukhari let's say he passed away here and Haji Khalifa was about here okay this was Imam Bukhari let's write that quickly uh, now all these years many 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 books many footnotes many commentaries many many works have been done on Sahih al-Bukhari and what he's done is the author has written it or listed as many as possible and that's why you can see many many pages it's got many pages okay roughly about six seven eight pages related to Imam Bukhari's Sahih so this is the book and if you have any questions please leave in the comments Jazakallah khair Assalamu alaikum